am Pamela Pennington. I am a researcher at the Universidad del Valle de Guatemala. And I have been working here for the past 20 years. Um, and I am now doing research on several diseases such as malaria and Chagas disease. I have been interested in science since I was very little. Uh, when I was around 10 years old, I had uh, several gifts that uh, my parents gave me for Christmas, uh, such as chemistry kits and my a microscope. And I also had an aunt who would give me books uh, for Christmas related to science. And I remember very clearly a book on uh, fossils that she gave me and uh, another book on insects. And I was so interested in how um, living, living organisms can change so drastically over periods of time that are so long and so short as for example, a butterfly, how it changes from a caterpillar to a flying insect. And I had a really good biology teacher in high school who uh, saw my interest and she helped me to uh, get prepared for a national competition, an Olympics competition in biology. And uh, after a lot of studying and hard work with her, uh, we won the competition. And so that really marked my interest in, in pursuing a scientific career. So I became interested in studying genetics and genetic engineering. So I decided with the support of my family that I wanted to study abroad in the United States. And I went to a small university and where I, I met my genetics professor who was doing some research in his laboratory. And I asked him if I could uh, work with him and help him with something that he was doing. And so I worked during a summer on a project that he had. That he had. Um, and at the end of the summer, we wrote the, the work that we did in a manuscript and we got it published. Uh, so that really continued to determine my next step, which was to continue a doctoral degree and I chose microbiology because I wanted to come back to Guatemala and I thought that microbiology was one of the mo most flexible degrees where I could work with human health, with animal health, uh, environmental microbiology uh, or plant health. Um, after doing my doctoral degree, I worked on a, in a medical school on a disease that is transmitted by ticks I decided that I wanted to come back to Guatemala and I looked for a position, a postdoctoral fellowship at the Centers for Disease Control in the United States. They had a project here in Guatemala working on a disease that is transmitted by insects. It's called Chagas disease and it affects the, poorer, uh, the poorest population in the country. Um, so I have been working since I came back to Guatemala on Chagas disease, uh, trying to find solutions to improve access to, to health for people that are affected by this disease. And uh, I've also been uh, very interested in promoting uh, the younger generations to become scientists so that we can together uh, solve the problems of the country I have a firm belief that we cannot expect others to come and solve our problems. And that we need to develop our uh, the capacity, local capacity, to solve them through science and technology. And for this reason, now I am trying to promote the younger children to go into science. And uh, we have been developing, for example, this book. It's a book that is. Uh, meant to inspire younger children, in particular younger girls, uh, to find their passion uh, and to pursue their, their dreams uh, since they are very young. And this tells the story of how I chose science and uh, what I'm doing to continue doing science in Guatemala. Uh, the main message to children through this book and through all the other activities we are doing is that they should um, have dreams and they should pursue their dreams. They should not let other people tell them that it's not possible because if you put your mind to it, you are able to do whatever you, you want. 
Um, but also I tell them that they need to find good mentors, uh, like my biology teacher and all of my professors at the universities. Uh, they always supported me and they believed in me. And also I tell the teachers that they should believe in their, in their students and they should have very high goals for them and get them to achieve their highest potential. I really like one of the quotes by Nelson Mandela that says that education is the uh, greatest weapon to change the world and that we have to really put a lot of effort in education in our country. We need to make sure that children have the opportunities to develop to their fullest and that they can make big changes for this country to improve in the future. Thank you.